When somebody makes your grandmother cry, it's personal. It's the latest in the Mexican-American studies controversy. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley, And I'm Jennifer Waddell. Both sides admit TUSD board president Miguel Cuevas' grandmother was brought to tears. But when it comes to how, well, that's two different stories. According to Cuevas, it's out of fear. According to protesters, it's out of shame. Jessica Chapin explains in tonight's Not On Your Side, Education Watch. They're hitting the streets to bring back Mexican-American studies. And the streets they're hitting are those of TUSD board members. The latest, Board President Miguel Cuevas, who was on the receiving end of some strong statements during last night's meeting. Where is, I don't even know what to say to you, man. It's despicable, man. You make me sick. And you're Mexican, man. How can you do that? And Freedom Summer, this is just part one. Wait till part two. But when this group went to his home, it's his grandmother they found. And according to Freedom Summer, when they explained Cuevas' involvement in dissolving TUSD's MAS program... His grandmother was, was really upset. Uh, she was almost on the verge of tears. But Cuevas told us a different story on the phone. My grandmother was brought to tears because she was afraid of them. She was fearful. The group has already brought their protests to the front yards of other board members, and Cuevas says he will call the police if they show up again. Freedom Summer says it's not a threat, and its members just want to talk. Do you really think that the, going to their house unannounced would get that best dialogue, though? Um, they haven't created any spaces to be able to talk to us, um, and so the only other option that they left for us is to be able to go out. And, and to their homes. How are you reaching out to start a dialogue with them? Well, in the past, I have attempted to engage in a dialogue with some of the individuals. And at this point, um, you know, I have made them aware of where I stand on some of the issues. And it's okay for them to protest. But when they come to our homes, that is personal. And at this point, it's unacceptable, especially when they come and have my grandparents in tears. Cuevas was not kidding around about calling the cops. We returned with a member of Freedom Summer to follow up on what they claim happened earlier. And Cuevas' grandfather immediately called the police. Does Cuevas himself feel threatened or unsafe? Well, I asked him that very question. He said he does not feel afraid, but he does say that bringing his family members into this is unacceptable. Jessica, thank you.